very excited. Um, this is the, the very first time that, uh, that uh, we are doing such an experiment. We are leading an experiment that uh, many people were hoping for maybe one day to be done. These, these facilities are, are something impressive, something gigantic for the scale they are and, and, and the, the, amount of, uh, the amount of things that have to work together you know, to, to be able to function properly. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very honored to go there. Solar sail is a um, shuttle that uh, is uh, uh, propelled by light uh, coming from either the sun or from uh, another light uh, source that uh, could be a laser, for example. So if you want to make a solar sail and you want to have it actually propelling some kind of capsule into space, it's very important that the material that you make this sail of is very light, because otherwise you have, for every square meter of sail, you would have to propel even more. So the ultimate lightness and the, 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 the strength of graphene is, is, is really the main advantage of using graphene. Inside the capsule, uh, we set our experiment. We just place all the graphene sails and the release mechanism with everything in a vacuum chamber and uh, also the lasers that will be uh, pushing the, the graphene sail and the capsule will be closed, set on the, inside the, the tube and launch it either by dropping it or by catapulting it from behind to get uh, about 10 seconds of, of uh, microgravity. Our experiment has to be run in, uh, in high vacuum and, but we cannot pump during the drop, uh, so I have to make sure that the, the chamber, so the, the, the box that we are going to run the experiment in, uh, is going to hold a, a nice enough vacuum for the experiment to succeed. I'm building uh, the, the, the release mechanism. It's a mechanism that should release this very, very light flake. It's, it's about uh, well, it's 0 0.5 milligrams of weight. So it, it, uh, um, it, it's gonna, it has to open it, release it in a flawless way so that the, the, the laser can, can impinge on it and, and pull it. So. The lasers are of course a vital part of this experiment. So we have the graphene solar sail and then we need to shoot on that with a laser. So, um, and that's gonna take some preparation because we're gonna have to shoot the lasers already in, in our regular labs onto the flake and see what happens and that is important to already get some feeling on what this graphene can handle and what kind of problems we can encounter and already solve them before we go drop the experiment. We will be more than happy if uh, we get to see these uh, solar sails moving uh, two millimeters and being recorded this movement. We will be showing to, to the scientific community a new uh, research direction but also will be um, promoting students all over Europe and the world to be daring and uh, be bold, think on new crazy ideas and experiments to do. To do, to do. And, uh, and I think we need a bit of that to, to really uh, bring uh, science and research to a level that uh, is both useful and, and uh, attractive.